Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan111, and I've got something special for you guys today in Minecraft. It is Spelunky! For those of you who know Spelunky, you might recognize this as the entrance to the mines over here. We've got an arrow trap that's ready to fire an arrow at the player when he comes down. We've got some ladders and spider webs on some different platforms, a little treasure box. And something very special on this level is an altar of Kali. And so for those of you who don't know Spelunky, the Kali altar is a special place where you can sacrifice different bad guys and objects and things. And one of the things that you can sacrifice is a golden idol. And when you sacrifice the golden idol on top of the Kali altar in Spelunky, it causes a golden monkey to appear. And the monkey runs around and he poops out gold and gems. It's very silly. And so I decided I was going to recreate that in Minecraft. And so let's place down the golden idol on the Kali altar. And, just like that, it's the golden monkey! Or in the case of Minecraft, it's a golden chicken who is pooping out all kinds of gold and gems. Uh, and so, yes, it's just very silly, and so this is something I wanted to create in Minecraft because I thought people might enjoy it. So now let's talk about how this all works. It's relatively straightforward with some redstone and command blocks. Basically, I am going to test for a gold block that is being deposited on top of the Kali altar. I'm going to have all of these command blocks commands in the description of this video so you can check it out. And once we detect the gold block being put there, we're going to play a particular sound and we are going to replace the gold block with air. And then a moment later, we are going to summon a chicken on top of the altar. And then there is this thing that is also, I've got a little hopper timer that just periodically goes and does this. And this thing, if you read this command, it basically above the chicken will summon a snowball that will go down and hit the chicken. And the reason for that is just basically I discovered that when I just summoned the chicken, he had a tendency to just stand there. Whereas if you throw a snowball at a chicken, then he'll run around like mad. Uh, and so every few seconds, it just throws another snowball at the chicken to keep him running around, kind of make things exciting. The thing that made me kind of want to do this, I am doing this in the latest snapshot in 14 week 7a. And the thing that made me want to do it is that there are some new commands on the command blocks that allow you to check what direction different entities are looking. And so the command blocks over here, oops, I'm editing the command, basically look and see kind of what the there's a rotation X and a rotation Y, minimum and maximum, and so it basically lets you know if the player is facing certain directions, or in this case if the chicken entity is facing certain directions, either kind of like left and right across the X and Z axes, uh, or up and down. And so basically we're testing to see what direction the chicken is looking, and then as a result, I can summon a particular item, in this case over here, we're summoning, summoning an emerald uh, that's going to be placed basically kind of behind the chicken, so it looks like it's kind of plopping out of his behind, uh, and we play a sound as well. And so I've got three different directions where basically I'm testing different degrees to see if the chicken is looking in three different directions, and so this one puts a diamond out of his behind over there, and this one checks if he's looking in a different direction and puts a gold ingot that pops out of the bottom of the chicken. And there's just a very simple hopper timer over here, as well as a little bit uh, with one with a longer duration for the snowballs. Uh, for hopper timers, you can see Etho has a hopper timer tutorial video. Um, but the rest of the redstone is very simple. I'm basically just constantly testing for the gold block to initially set this off, and then occasionally going and spawning the extra snowball for the chicken. And yeah, that's all there is to it, basically, in terms of the redstone. And so as a result, if I put down a gold block, we detect that it's there, we spawn a chicken, we immediately th throw a snowball at him, and then periodically we throw more snowballs at him to keep the chicken running around rather than just standing there like he was right there. And as the chicken faces different directions, uh, different emeralds and gold and diamonds will pop out of his behind with a little plop sound. So that's it. I just thought it was fun and silly. Wanted to show it off. Hope that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft and more Spelunky. And if you like Minecraft and Command Blocks and Redstone and stuff like that, uh, I will put this video in my kind of Redstone and Scoreboard and Command Block kind of tutorial playlist, which will also be linked in the description of this video, as well as the commands used in this particular little world demonstration. So be sure to check that out. Hope that you guys are having a great day. Bye-bye.